Hey Trooper Survivalist here, welcome back and um, just like to make a small video on um, on wind power and a wind turbine. Now this is a really great way uh, in a grid down scenario to still make, uh, to still get power for um, basic things um, uh, like uh, recharging uh, your ham radio and a little, uh, for lighting and um, just keeping your uh, maybe your, even your FM radio and, and just your very basic uh, survival electrical needs going so there's a really great plan that I've got I'm gonna show in this video that is um, is uh, very cheap to make um, it's made out of bicycle parts and, and other things Few mosquitoes here <laughs> so uh, without further ado I'll, uh, I'll get you that video and um, you can you can check out the plans yourself and you can have a go at building it if you like or you can just put them away for uh, part of your prepper kit for in the future when you when you will need them no worries well thanks a lot for watching if you like the content please like share subscribe leave a comment and um, we'll catch you on the next video. No worries, thank you.
true for survivalists. Welcome back. And here we have three examples of wind turbines. This is the Savonius VAWT uh, vertical axis turbine. This is the modern HAWT uh, horizontal axis turbine. And this is the uh, Gyro Mill or Darius uh, VAWT. And this is also a vertical axis turbine. Now there's advantages and disadvantages, obviously, and um, and different reasons why to use different types. But the vertical axis uh, turbine, as you can see, one as it turns around, uh, the cup shape catches the wind, and the other shape that's rounded goes into the wind. So the, there is a maximum velocity that this will turn because uh, one side is actually pushing against the wind as one side is catching the wind. But the advantage is um, it 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 uh, doesn't need a direction. It catches the wind from, from any direction and um, so it doesn't need to turn into the wind. So therefore you don't need um, uh, a type of um, contact that can swivel, electrical contact that can swivel. I'm not sure the right name for that, but they're, they're, for this type of turbine, the the um, horizontal axis, this the head of this will turn into the wind to face the wind, and what happens is the 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 generator, electrical generator you have inside here, um, spins, but you have a wire that needs to come down this pole. Now, because this head turns around constantly in different directions following the wind, you need to have uh, some sort of um, electrical contact that can that can uh, that can swivel a full 360 degrees, and it needs to have sort of like brush contacts, a bit like an electric motor itself, to be able to do that. So it, it's a little bit more complicated to set up. Um, this will spin and continue to spin um, to the velocity of the wind. So the higher the wind speed, the faster this will spin. This this uh, vertical axis one will actually will have a maximum velocity regardless of the wind speed. And this is another version of the, the vertical axis. So today I'm going to show you a, a, a design for the vertical axis and it's um, it's very uh, cheap design. You can make it yourself at home. It, it, it's, uh, it's a great design for, um, for a prepper because uh, in a grid down scenario or in a in a, in a, S, a shit hits the fan uh, scenario where we've lost power, um, you you'll want to charge different batteries, car batteries, um, cell phone batteries, uh, and uh, deep cycle batteries, whatever you have, uh, to be able to continue to use some of your equipment, say like your ham radio or your vehicle or just um, LED lighting. Um, and if your setup is really uh, a, a really uh, um, extreme setup, you might have refrigeration as well, running off uh, batteries, um, which I I think is is a bit is a bit um, is a bit extreme. Um, but some people, if they got the budget and the money, they can they can do something like that. So without further ado, I'll I'll, um, I'll br bring up the plans, and you're welcome to to download them. Uh, to, to, to the links in the description there so you can go to the website and you can download those and you can have a go at building them or you can just put them aside keep them for uh, for a time when you when you are ready to build them so but it's good to know about these things and have, have an idea of how to do these things uh, so in the future if, if the need arises you do have a way to generate electricity from the wind all right thanks for watching uh, like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon and leave a comment. Thank you.